good. But if red team can stick to their game plan, make sure yellow team doesn't get too much mileage in the two the 1v1s or the 2v1 mm -hmm. situations, then it'll be huge. Because the problem is, we see this a lot with Robin doubles. Not necessarily Raffi, but other Robs on the, the national scale is Rob will play conservatively, but then his opponent just gets, or his teammate gets opened up by the opponents in a 2v1 situation. Oh, yeah, I, I'm watch watching this, man. I mean, look at Pelka, untouched, and right. he is moving. He's literally just running around stage, and he's just reacting to everything that's happening. Like, it's actually crazy seeing how much control he's able to exhibit uh, with his snake. And the other thing that I saw, too, earlier uh, when we had Raffi on stream is that every chance that he had, he would go for the read uh, with the forward special. And that's, like, not uncharacteristic of Raffi. He does that in singles as well, but especially in doubles, it allows a team like this that is able to live for a long time to have the affordance to get some early KOs. True. And while Pelka is playing, Playing in the back, he has such a huge amount of support coming in for Raffi in the form of all of the special moves from Snake. But right now, Yellow Team looks like they have the lead. I would say, the, what the heck, the up smash from Maddie G and Pelka getting stuck under the Pokemon Stadium. That's two quick ones. Yeah. Yellow we... Team favored. <laughs> I'm getting this 112. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, man. But no, it's crazy, especially because. Uh, Oh wow, okay, looks like Maddie's not going to be able to recover there. Was trying to probably dodge the, uh, the up smash from Pelka and just couldn't quite space uh, the perfect amount to avoid it and still grab the ledge. But, you know, the one thing I'm wondering about is, uh, you know, for the yellow team, despite the fact that they don't have quite the survivability that the red team does, what they do have is some of the best ability to edge guard and yes. also uh, juggle both right. of these characters. Like, Snake's going to be trying to come down high, and you have Lucina and Krom up airs to deal with. That's not a good time. Exactly. And the thing is, like, one of them can go high, and if you dodge that up air, there's probably one waiting for you right under that. The thing is, like, Red Team is doing a pretty good job, though, in terms of support. I'd have to say, like, even though they get stuck in these 1v1 situations, Raffi's coming in with the gyro, Elk's coming in with the grenades, and they're keeping it close. Look at that Falcon, man. Oh, now he knows. Yeah. It is time. Oh, all right, big back here, though, and then... These are the situations that are bad for Red Team. Like, Raffi is going to take, he has to take a long, oh my oh. god, Lady getting dumped. Oh, they traded though. Yeah. So, uh -oh. like, Raffi has to take a long time to recover because if he doesn't, he's going to be very like super linear, right? Yeah. yeah. But during that time, they can just sort of put the pressure 2v1 onto Pelka and vice versa, obviously. Pelka's going to go high. Right now, they can put the pressure on Raffi. It's, it's a rough spot to be in, but like I said, Red Team's making it work. Oh my god, dude, that was almost a perfect handoff to Raffi, and that up smash just quite narrowly not having the hitboxes connect. And there we go, we go, we spin it now. Forward tilt punch from Maddie G saying, no, 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 don't, don't do it in my house, take your shoes off. Exactly, and see, that's that survivability that they were not allowed, because even the forward tilt is such a good move from Prom. A lot of cooldown on that side special from Raffi, but the other team firmly in the driver's seat right now, I'd have to say. See right there, Pelka goes high, as is tradition. Raffi opened up the 2v1. Mm -hmm. Okay, setting up these ledge traps here, and both of them have both members of the yellow team in Edgar Tanera, and it looks like Pelko is able to close his end out. Raffi not quite able to, but it doesn't matter because it still means the net positive for the team. So this is actually huge now. This is Red Team's opportunity. If they can get this stock off of late, all of a sudden it is a rough game for Matty G, but what's the play here? Gets the down kill on the Pelka. Oh my god, that is bold, but he gets it anyway. That's the thing, Pelka's just so exposed. There's really nothing he can do down there yeah. except his recovery. And there's Maddie. Oh no, there was a C4. There was a C4. Pelka helping from the grave. But he has to go against a fully health Maddie G. It's not looking good for Raffi, but it's a whole lot better than it was before. Definitely, definitely. But the back air almost taking it. It's still, like, it's such a rough spot right now. Forward jump. Nope, oh. it's another back here. Don't jump over me. Don't right. jump over me. <laughs> He's like, listen, you're not coming in on the ground, and you are not jumping over me. Runner, runner, back here. Going to be Yellow Team's first game. Yeah, I mean, that, that tells, uh, you know, the Yellow Team, Pelka leaving a message to say, stay woke. Yeah. Don't forget. Never forget. Remember who you are. It's such a good play, too, if you're Snake, and you like, you know, time's coming, curtain's closing. Like, just drop a C4 down. Let your teammate know in your spare time. Exactly. <laughs> I think I think the C4 stays active for like 30 seconds, something like that. 27. 27? Yeah. Okay. No, no, I think it is 30. I know it's, it's like somewhere around there, fresh. right? Yeah. I was like, if you know the timer, you look at the timer and then you kind of do the math for when it's going to explode. Right. Then you can go ahead and set that up. Definitely, definitely important. I've seen that before. And uh, Light and Dawn had a set against the snake as well, and like one of them was sticky, and they were in a 2v1 situation against the snake's teammate. Eventually, it just blew up and took them out. But I see. A lesson was learned, Flambo. Have to say that at least. There we go. We even saw the start of this match. Pelka immediately sticking Raffi 
Ravi trying to pass it off. Somebody could have played back too much mileage there. But, I mean, already the red team are having a pretty decent start. Yeah. Raffi again. The woes of the Rob main. 60% just from, like, passing. That's I know, there, right? Actually. Just from plugging in your controller. Yeah. Just, just take 60%. Right. You just, like, you give your opponent, like, the first 10 seconds of the game and then start playing. It probably wouldn't be a big difference. Frankly. Oh, big side special. Not going to be it. Puts him in a rough spot. Oh, Never. yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's the thing. Raffi now. Oh, oh, my goodness. The spike from Matthew Ganshirt. And that's wild, too. It looked like he was firmly on the stage, but Raffi still going right to the blast zone instead. Big combo potential here, but Grenade getting interrupted. Good stuff from Pelka. Pel Pelka's snake is, like, so interesting. I love it. I know. It's very it's very unconventional compared to some of the other ones you see. I love the way he maneuvers around the stage, the way he's able to be reverse control space like that, right. especially where he chooses to lay his grenades on the floor. Yes. It's just yeah. like, wow, why, why didn't he think to do that? But it was genius. Especially in doubles. Like I said, his support has been so good from deep. Let's see. Another side special. Definitely going to be at 156. Now, Maddie trying to get some revenge, but not going to be it. Focus still holding on. Bro, he's going deep. What the heck? Oh, you see Raffi fighting his way off stage. Not going to get the punish on Kool Aid Dolphin Slash. But that's one of the things that I always start to kind of hold my breath a bit for is when I see Raffi off stage, I know just after watching enough Thursday night fights yeah. just how good Kool Aid is at edge guarding Raffi. I so know. every time he's in that scenario, I'm like, uh-oh. And again, I think that's why he has to go for these like crazy recoveries. It's because he knows mm -hmm. who's up against two players who are good at sort of taking that recovery and ending it early. But he's been doing a really good job of avoiding that in this situation so far. Oh, they didn't get the uh, the spike on that. That could have been disastrous for Raffi. But Raffi going to go ahead and live a little bit longer. Is at 145. And as I say, that's going to go ahead and escort himself to the blast zone. Oh, wow. Nice little combo extension from late going with the up throw. Jeez, red team trying to get these kills. You see, they're just like giving the stage control up to try and hunt down these stocks. Maybe get a pass or something going. But. Right, because they're not quite at up tilt kill percent yet for Pelka. Yeah. So you see him go for these kind of forward tilts. They'll put his elbow into it, a little forearm as well, try to see if he can close it out. But now he's definitely going for those up tilts. Two back to back, and that actually gets him punished, which again forces Raffi into that 2v1 situation, which they've not been kind to him, to say the least. Looking for more. Oh, no punish. Oh, we got it. There nice. we go. The up tilt. Not enough to KO, though. Yeah, surprising. Definitely thought that would have been it. Oh. Nice idea from late. And the air dodge going to be another stock. That's four to one right now. Too high percent, to be fair. Oh, a quick one from Pelka. Setting up the traps. Bro, Pelka has, like, the biggest brain when it comes to these traps, too. I've seen him, like, cover so many things. Okay, oh, oh he has the work cut out for him, but that's two. Yeah. I said, you know, I said it was four, and uh, he made it two really quick. All right, let's trade. Game stop. Another one. Took 20% off that, though. These are not trades that he wants, especially the 2v1. True, true. However, his game plan, it, it's, it gets so much better for him once he takes one of these two stocks off. Which, so if he can just, like, take some trades, even now he's at, like, 100 or something, if he can get a stock, he's fine being at 100 after that. He has to be careful. He can't really recover low like that either. Yeah. He will get spiked. Oh, no. Up smash, catching him after the forward air miss, and that's going to be a 2-0 coming in for lead Manny G. Yeah, that, you know, Manny G whipping up the prom, had the fox, you got, you got the whole the whole gauntlet today. Man, right? Playing all sorts of good characters. See if we have any other new ones come out of the pocket in this loser's finals coming up mm -hmm. against Mars and Dark Wizzy. Yeah, this is going to be a set.